Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be talking once more about the tropics. They are really blowing up right now. We have four areas to talk about, but two in particular, obviously, are Tropical Storm Gamma. And then alongside that Invest 92L, which we will be talking a lot about in this video as it poses in a possible upcoming threat to the United States. Now, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do your weather-related content. And also make sure to share this video with your friends, family, and social media. Now, I would also ask that you check out our very exciting Patreon page in the description and the pinned comment down below. Now, for today's comment of the day, I want to know, do you think that Invest 92L poses any sort of threat to the United States? And if you do, which state do you think would be most impacted if it does impact the United States? Let me know in the comments down below what you think is going to happen with that one, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Now, let's get right into this video, and first things first, we're taking a look at the two-day graphical tropical weather outlook here from the National Hurricane Center, and as you can see, we have Tropical Storm Gamma there, just to the north of the Yucatan Peninsula, as a tropical storm. We have a 60% chance there for 92L over the next two days, and then we have two areas with what we would call Code Yellow, uh, so we have a 10% and a 20% area there. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to move on and we're going to move towards that five-day graphical tropical weather outlook where we're going to take a look at each individual system. So first things first, here is our first system, and this one has a 10% chance of development over the next five days, so a really low chance there for that one. Now, as we move on, we see our kind of third system going on right now. This one has a 20% chance over the next five days, but still, I mean, that's very, very low at this point, but that's how we saw 92L start out our one that's currently uh, in the Southern Caribbean. It, it really started out with like a 10, 20% chance, and now it's all the way up to, well, let's go ahead and move on and take a look at it, an 80% chance over the next five days. So this one, you know, they all start out with that very low chance, and they can work their way up to the very high chance. So I don't want to act like none of these are going to develop. It's just for right now, very low chance. We'll have to wait and see what happens with those ones, but they have much less favorable conditions than these first two have had. So I don't know if they will ever have that high chance like these ones do. Either way, the 80% chance that goes right through that sweet spot to the north of Yucatan Peninsula uh, is going to eventually pose a potential threat to the United States, as that's the general direction it's heading. We will take a look at the spaghetti models later that don't have a much more promising outlook than that. So we'll have to really watch this one. It poses the next imminent threat to the United States, I would say, uh, as a possible impact for the Gulf Coast. Let's take a look at the cone forecast for Tropical Storm Gamma real quickly. And as you can see, it's really the same thing. Very slow mover in a generally southerly direction there. And it's kind of just going to hover around. It could eventually turn back north, so we'll want to watch this one very, very closely. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to move on. And we're just going to take a look at the satellite imagery for the entire Atlantic in just a moment. And then we're going to take a look at the spaghetti model guidance for both Tropical Storm Gamma and also our Invest 92L. So first things first, we're taking a look at that spaghetti model guidance for our Tropical Storm Gamma. And this is according to the GFS Ensemble model. And as you can see, they generally have this one hovering around just like the cone forecast from the National Hurricane Center. There is a few that break this one away up to the north and eventually have it as a United States threat. That would be very far into the outlook. And I, I don't really know how high my confidence is that that is even a possibility at this point with how long it's going to be uh, in the Gulf. Although... Anything's possible, so I can't really say it's impossible, but it just does not seem very likely whatsoever at this point. Here's your European Ensemble model, and it looks pretty similar, except it does have much less ha having that northerly turn. Eventually, a lot of these have it just suppressed to the south and really just, you know, that's all it's going to ever do. Uh, and then here's your Canadian Ensemble model, which is known for being the least accurate of these three that I've shown. And it has it heading back towards Florida. Is this likely? No. Is it possible? I guess. But the likelihood is extremely low of a, of a track like that. And then here is basically all of your models put together. Uh, and as you can see, it's a mess. This really puts the emphasis on spaghetti and the spaghetti models because this is, this is looking like a plate of pasta right now, to say the least. I can't really even make out what those numbers are saying. They have it all over the place. But I guess the one thing you can take away here is that we do have some of those models showing that northerly turn as well. So we really need to pay attention to the possibility that that could be 
a possible outcome here. Anyway, what we're going to do here is we're going to move on. We're going to take a look at Invest 92L, the one that poses a, I guess, higher chance of a risk for the United States. Now, the European model does not have a uh, map yet for this one, but we do see our GEFS model here, our GFS ensemble model. And as you can see, almost all of these have a United States impact at some point. Those oranges are indicating a stronger storm, so we'll want to watch out for that as well. Let's just go ahead and look at our CMC ensemble model, and I think it's a little bit more realistic with this one. It kind of just shows exactly what the GEFS model shows. So we can say this is probably a more realistic um, outlook here from this one. And then let's look at overall all of the models here, and as you can see, pretty much all of them have a United States impact. We would have a stronger storm if it goes south of Cuba. As you can see, a few of these have it hitting Cuba. That would bring some quite major impacts there for that very western tip of Cuba, unfortunately. Uh, but if we see it go in between the Yucatan Peninsula and Cuba and less land interaction, we would see a stronger storm. Anywhere from Texas to Florida is not safe at this point. So if you're anywhere along the Gulf Coast, I really want you to pay attention to this one because anywhere could get hit by it. So we'll want to watch this one extremely closely as you know the forecast really expands to us as the storm strengthens we will get a much clearer view of what this one can do unfortunately uh later on in this in this video we're going to be taking a look at the intensity guidance and it does not look promising at all either it looks like this could be a very very strong storm actually one of the strongest of the season possibly so we're going to want to watch this one very closely Anyway, what we're about to do here is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at the intensity guidance for both of these storms and then we're going to get into the direct weather forecast for both of these storms. All right, now first things first, here's the intensity guidance for Tropical Storm Gamma. And as you can see, we're kind of like a moderate tropical storm, I would say. We might weaken for a bit there uh, within the next 48 hours until I would say hour 96 it seems about half of the models actually have us below tropical storm status by that point the other half have us kind of right where we're at right now but there is a little bit of an incline as you can see towards the very right side of that screen that's indicating uh, that within the next seven days or so we will start to see this one possibly intensifying again uh, closer towards heading towards category one status that would be quite interesting it's very far out though so we're going to need to Watch it closely, but really it's hard to say at this point what we will be looking at, at, you know, a week, 10 days. That's kind of the extended range. Now, unfortunately for the bad news, here's Invest 92L. And as you can see, this one, right now we only have three models. I guess that's the only good news, but all three have us, uh, well, actually there's a couple that only go out to about hour 60 or less. So they, you know, we don't really get to see what they're calling for in the, in the whole grand scheme of things, but... Uh, the three that we have right now have us at, at least Category 2, if not Category 3. Do I think this is a likelihood? I wouldn't say a likelihood. Do I think it's a possibility? Absolutely. It's a storm heading through the Gulf that has a potential uh, track with no land interaction. That, that screams the potential for a hurricane, uh, if not a stronger one. So we'll want to watch this one closely, especially as it has possibly the United States in its crosshairs. We're going to want to watch it. Uh, extremely closely. I think I've said that maybe 20 plus times in this video, but really, we we really do want to watch it closely. I just, I want to put an emphasis on that, that even though it's far out, we're going to want to pay attention as time moves forward, obviously. Now, let's get into that direct weather forecast for both of these storms. Obviously, the gamma forecast has not changed too, too much because it does not expect to move too far. It's going to generally move southward, but what direction it heads after that is very much so a question mark. Uh, I think it could head in any direction, 365 degrees. So, like I always say, we're going to want to watch this one closely. Let's move towards uh, Invest 92L now, though. And this one's moving a lot quicker. Uh, it definitely has the potential to bring impacts to the Yucatan Peninsula or potentially Cuba as well. And then after that point, uh, the Gulf Coast of the United States is a potential landing spot threat for this one. So, you guys are going to want to pay attention. We're going to keep bringing videos for this, but definitely stay tuned to the National Hurricane Center as well as far as seeking official guidance on what to do during these very dangerous storms, and this one potentially heading straight for the Gulf Coast, uh, and potentially is a very strong storm as well, which is the worst part about it, so 
Uh, we're going to keep making videos for these storms. You guys can uh, keep watching those. But again, you're really, really going to want to pay attention to the National Hurricane Center uh, for life-saving information. Anyway, for today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, uh, what do you think for the third disturbance is going to happen? Because the br it was a brand new disturbance, the one with 20% chance uh, as of, I think it was yesterday I made this video. And everything weather said, I think the third disturbance won't do anything at all. And actually, I don't even think it'll become any kind of tropical system. And that kind of seems like the most likely outcome as of this point. So I really agree with you there. Anyway, for today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel. But especially our diamond patrons, Alicia Davis, Madbird, Cindy Klein, Dan Hazard, and Mark J. Alongside our platinum patrons, Larry LaPan and Donna Carnes. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and social media. I will see you guys in the next video.